Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Fran Bo. We've crossed the bridge that we were trying to go over in chapter two. We're back in the woods. We've completed a Thirsta. And now all there is to do is move on. There's the bridge. Now we were given this box. We didn't take a look at it just yet. It looks like it has the Thurston language on it, perhaps? I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something, or maybe it can't be opened at all. Well, I can't click on those keys. Yeah, there, there's nothing for me to do. Unless I use the book with it. Nope. So we're moving on. Our pills were on a string and being pulled away. Let's get them. Home. I guess home is in that direction, but maybe it's not for me. The sign looks too old. But it has to be. Besides, if it's not, it will leave me somewhere anyway. Yeah, that is a little weird. The sign just says home. Clearly it's for me and no one else, right? Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Okay, for the pills, which will surely be pulled away. Pills don't move. Ah, you want to show me the way back home? Oh my god, what is pulling this thing? It's making me nervous. Hmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They're regular berries then, not fire berries. Oh! I was expecting to find the creature pulling it, but... Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Well, this should be an easy fix, right? Haha! -ha. Think again. Hey, buddy. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you till 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blame me, instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sister, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend, the long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. Well, I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm a friend. Mm, all right. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you yet. <laughs> That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Jeez, he's tall. And that's when he's hunched over. He's a little taller than even that. Yeesh. Huh. Behold! The Edward Flying Machine. What do you think? Well, it's alright, but can it really fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. Well, that sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But, sir, 
should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait! Of course not! You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. A weird watering can. Ah, and the fireberries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is good to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes. Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry, I needed to get your attention somehow. Well, that's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like, in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine. I don't know, man. I am... <laughs> I am still highly suspicious about this guy. <laughs> Did you find the fireberries in water already? We need them for the journey back home. Hey, it's Mechanical Bird. This is grand. What was the name? It was like Bebo or something from Clash of the Titans? Wonderful, you could sing. Birdie Bird. I guess you'll get to fly when we depart, okay? <laughs> I'm also reminded of the Mechanical Nightingale from King's Quest VI. I'm gonna retreat all the way to the beginning for uh, berry time, or berry time, pill time. Hi! Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. Well, I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Well, yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Um, alright. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Surprisingly, over the cliff doesn't do anything crazy. The handmade bucket, it where made it, is empty. Yeah, I can't reach the water from here. Didn't quite think so, but never hurts to try. Anything else from you? We're not stuck. Now leave us alone. We're trying to grow our hair and make it beautiful. They aren't kidding. Oh, yeah. Another head. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Yeah. Can I ruin their good hair day? No. Um. Whoa, hell. Pills help me see the truth, right? Maybe I don't want to go home. Although, there are the fireberries. I'm assuming this bucket is for the water, but I'll try the berries anyway. Oh, the berries are on fire. It has to be the fireberries. Hell? Well, I don't want to go there. This sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. Unless, God forbid... It has one destination. <laughs> get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. Well, I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, but I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm, a deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Ha! Down here, creature, can't you see me? Oh, there you are, you're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran, can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? 
Well, of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Well, yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Well, thank you, sir. Freaking bizarre. So, I don't know, just bucket immediately? It could work if I had water inside the bucket, right, so clearly I'm not ready yet. How, oh how, do I get water? Look at all that gossamer style. So much hair and so shiny, but that's all glowy and everything. And can I really, there's just nothing I can do. Ho 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 Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. Mmm. You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend's really me but from some other place. What took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Maybe instead of water I can use my freaking blood. Nah. Here's a dark thought. Thank god. So... it word. Well now I'm nervous. <laughs> oh my god am I nervous. Um... Huh. I think I hear something. Okay. So it's a horn. This is the. Oh, you know what? Here's a thought. Get it nice and quiet. What if I examine the box while I'm in pill mode? Nothing. Huh. Well, I guess the question. Oof. I guess the question now then is how do I go about getting the water? Do I use the hair? I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Beautiful. Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill the whole bucket, please. Ha. <laughs> That's awesome. So weird. Can I just not take it back? Awesome. The bucket is now full of water. Aw, oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Well, home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry. I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Cool. Alright, time to- doesn't weigh anything? Well, time to get some fire berries, I guess, right? Get out, scavengers! It's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. Yeah, I saw the other option. I'll try exercising that next. The fire's gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just pull them off with my hands. Fine, fine. Yay! And I still have water in the bucket, so I'll use them on the Kamalas next. The five berries that are not on fire anymore. Yeah, now let's let's go ahead and see what that was all about. Mm-hmm. Deedleworm, deadly worm, sir, will you come to visit me when I die? 
I always come to visit those whom time has left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. Yeah, I was waiting for something really dark, like, oh, it won't be much longer. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Right, let's get rid of the Kamalas. God. Damn. Yeah, I gotta purge these things. Oh, come on. I know it where it wants the water, but... Man... Ugh, let's get that out of here. Alright, just gotta use them on him then. Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Alright. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. I'm a little nervous. A wind hole. I won't get inside of this one. Spinning around in circular circles. Endless. A doorbell. Anybody home? Hee <laughs> hee. I wonder what this box does. It seems to be very busy. Hello. I think I hear something. Everything's weird. Alright, we're going in. Oh, wow. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Well, it sounds exciting. Palantras told me about different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. Wow, this is so whimsical. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. This is such like a Willy Wonka looking thing he's on. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them, not when others tell you how or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again, and the fuel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. Well, that makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. Hmm, this music makes me think of forks. What? Yeah, of course, duct tape. Duct tape is good for basically anything. A hammer, obviously to hammer stuff. A lot of people want to use the hammer for something else. But for what? Nah, I'll just leave it there. A wooden foot reminds me of me when I was a tree. Whoa. That's weird. Feet. One foot with a shoe, one without a shoe. It's the Atherst language again. I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the shoe's sole? Hmm. Yeah, that just like, look at that. They're just tearing the flesh off the bottom of the foot, taking it putting it on the shoe to make like a shoe foot creepy mm. 
Huh, a feather with the Great Wizard's Riddle. Looks very complicated. Not interested in knowing what it is. This is odd. I also have a red bicycle. Kamala Hunt. Oh no, is this a game within a game? Get out of here. Oh, no way. No goddamn way. This is crazy. It's freaking Space Invaders. This game has goddamn Space Invaders. I got a big boss come out at the end. Ah, oh, nuts. Thank god this isn't like real Space Invaders, where the more you kill, the faster they go. Yeah! <laughs> it's a weird game, man. This game got crazy. Good. Threat's almost over. Rats. Oh, I can hold the thing down for faster movement. Highly useful. Yay! Attack of the Easter Egg? This is... Alright. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is hysterical. Just look at what look at what's happening right now. And by the way, yeah, you've probably figured this out already, but the shooting is automatic. I'm only moving. Unpredicted behavior from the at work computer machine database has been found. At work has been shut down. Egg Easter allowed zero. Ha! <laughs> Alright. This goes back into it. That's pretty funny. I wonder what this machine does. I know what this is, a compass. So either room, huh? Hello, Fran speaking. So this is not where I want to go. Door's closed, maybe it can open it later. And there's that crazy, like, weird version of the cat. So this is a dead end, and it looks like I'm supposed to go into here. Okay, so it looks like it's the workstation. Books, so many pages to read, I hope they have pictures. Ooh, I wonder if it would really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it'd be strange. It would makes me wonder so many things. Well, we've seen the mechanical cat moving around before. Here's a bunch of forks. I'll try not to forget about them. <laughs> I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. A bunch of cogs. Looks like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hand. Many shoes. Maybe they're too tight for the big it word. Many tiny gloves. Look a bit familiar. That's King Zaire, I recognize him. Hmm, I see now, they're friends. That's good. It makes you want to trust it, word. A clock. The lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Um, feels like something's missing. The keyhole requires a key. Sure. Many things to look at. So weird. What do you think the point of turning the light off is? I could climb the ladder, but the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Alright. 
Alright, well, let's go where we're supposed to, I guess. Everything's so... Just so much clickable stuff. Wow, it's a huge spinning top! I'm guessing this may be the engine. Compass goes in circles, upside down in nowhere. The lights show for sure that something is working. Everything is complicated. Oh, God. I cannot read this. So, light up the furnace. Turn the twisty knob. Connect to this. H2O. Water goes in there. This looks like some kind of water pump. I don't understand the language, but at least there are drawings. It seems that I have to fill up the pump with water and such. Right. Yeah, so I'll light you. I'll just know gas. Maybe now? Hmm. Well, water goes in there, right? Good. Oh. Oh, well, I have duct tape for just such a thing. I should give myself a hug for being so clever. Huh. Well, we're almost there. Where does the pipe go? Over here. Look at this mess. Edward doesn't know about hygiene. But he does know about mechanical things. Are those to drink water? They're quite small. Yeah, no. Don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. The vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. Oh, God. What the hell? The pink hose. The blue hose. This is so intimidating. What do you have inside, little bottle? What? I... What? Oh, God. This is so complicated. AFM. Missing. Sure, but how do I get that? 9JM. Well, how about this? I'll reset the whole thing. And wait, what was this? Reality view. Oh, do I still... I still have the pills! I forgot! An ultra reality view. Ah. AFM. Oh, God. This is so disorienting. Oh, my God. Micronutrients and fire fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. So fireberry, I'll light the N166. Oh my god, what a freaking disaster. There. Ho ho ho! Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. And the eyes are blinking. Kill it with fire. Wait, what did that say? Yeah, that is a version of me. To hell with that. Oh, that's how it works. And 166. R-115, now I understand. Now I'm getting better. And what the hell? But like, what does this make any sense? The R-115 goes to a 2PF? An A-118? What? Uh, this is really disorienting, oh my god. R15, 2PF, and then A18. So A18, 2PF. Alright, 
So I think that's decent so far. Whoops. Then, AFM goes into that, but how in the world? That is how I do it. No, I'm doing it right. This is really disorienting. I think this is right. Yes, it is. Oh my god, this is the worst. So blue is right, and red is left. Okay. Boom, boom. And AFM is on the far left, but I can't get that. And then these two connect to become that thing. This is so confusing. I still need to light what's below the burner, but I don't know how to do that. I might need to come back. I'll check another room. This is ridiculous. Hi! Ooh, that smile. Ugh. That's really creepy. Look at that one more time. Ugh. My god. Are you are you here to kill it word? Hello, why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Uh, done. That's really creepy. Ugh. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds, it were the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing and the whale's magic door is unlocked. The end. Unsettling.
Well, I guess if they killed each other, that explains why there's that nasty gash in one of their bodies. Yeah. You know, here's a thought. Hmm, just checking. And this door is just not going to open. Unless... God, do I hate that. Still closed, fine. Let's take a look at Itward himself. This could get ugly. Ho 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 ho! See you in your nightmares. <laughs> wow. That's right, I killed Eddie. And when I did, my eyes looked just like this! <laughs> Good lord. Where have I heard that before? I guess from the, uh... You know what, I heard that when I got the uh, the book from It Were Jack in the Box, and he looks like the clown in the asylum. Yeah, I'm so done with that. I'm so done with that. Then the really super tall beaker needs the AFM. Do I put the berries just in it? Is that all I do? Oh. Well now. I might have something. So the fireberries are in there. Then... Can I light the damn thing? Ah. Now how do I get this thing to work? The green hose, that was the one thing I was missing. That one I admit I had to look up. That's really subtle. And now, if you'll see, the green tubes connect those two bottom uh, bottles here. Got it. Okay, I think there's one more thing I missed. Boom. The pencil transformed with a creepy eye. Well, actually, the pencil's still there, but I have one more connector. Well, first of all, let's get the pills off of here. And now... That's more like it. Hey. With that, we should have gas, right? I hope. No gas... Oh. Everything looks almost complete. Well, that's okay. We'll try to take care of the heater on the next installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We finally got to talk to Itward, and we even went into his crazy flying machine. We got our pills back, which helps us solve puzzles, but of course I am nervous. We got to see the twin girls again, which was of course disturbing, but no time for that now. We have to fix this machine, and with any luck, get home. Until next time, everyone.